What's up everyone, you already know who it is man, and every once in a while I like taking a step back and talking about some advertisements I look at and like kind of observe, you know, I'm a consumer myself and I get persuaded about ads sometimes and I was watching this video, I honestly don't even remember it, honestly I don't even care, but it was some like technology video about something and I saw this ad for the Apple card, okay, for the Apple credit card that they just made and I was like, okay, whatever, I actually already signed up for it, believe it or not. <laughs> So I was already persuaded before the fact of this ad, but I started looking at it. And I'm like, all right, I'm just going to let it play through. I don't even think I was able to skip it. But as I'm watching it, one of the first things that it said was a credit card by Apple, not by a bank or something like that. I'm going to try to find the ad and put up the screenshot if I can. But if I can't, it looks, it said something along those lines, like a credit card by Apple, not by a bank or whatever the case is. And I was looking at that. I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. And then I started thinking, I was like, wait a second that's not entirely 100% the case. Like that's not like, it's like a, just a credit card that Apple's created and it's only Apple doing everything. That's not entirely the case. I mean, they're partnering with Goldman Sachs to do this and Goldman Sachs is an investment bank. So I'm looking at that. I'm like, from a consumer standpoint, I was kind of already persuaded. It was a good looking ad. And by me seeing something like credit card by Apple, that would already kind of make me want to pick up that credit card because I trust Apple, they're super secure. And I honestly would just be like, okay, cool. Like that's another Apple product I can go pick up, a titanium card that's lit. But but if Goldman Sachs was going around and advertising the same exact card, same exact everything, I'm sure less people would eventually sign up for that. So I'm looking at that, I'm like, okay, that makes sense from a marketing standpoint. But why do they have to say that it's a credit card made by Apple, not by a bank? Because that is, in my opinion, kind of a little shady because like I said, it is kind of the case. Yes, Apple, it's Apple's logo on it and everything. But if you flip the card around, you have the Goldman Sachs logo on it. So I don't know entirely what they're trying to get at. Like, yes, Apple has a more, I guess, name brand and it looks better than a Goldman Sachs card. But I still think it's kind of shady. You know, I, I think they're being a little bit deceptive, you know. Apple is pretty much, in my opinion, like the figurehead. They're kind of just like the branding of it. Like take Nike, for example, like you have a t-shirt, right? Actually, that's a horrible example. Let's take like Samsung and Android, for example. So Android is the baseline operating system, okay? But Samsung is the brand name. So you're buying the Samsung phone. You're not necessarily buying Android. You are kind of buying Android, but that's a given. Um, that's even a bad example. I don't even know. But here, here's the thing. Apple is just kind of just putting their stamp on it. They're pretty much hands off when it comes to basically everything besides Apple Pay. Goldman Sachs is pretty much handling everything. You know, when you're buying that card or when you're getting that card, you're pretty much getting a Goldman Sachs card with a few benefits from like buying things to the Apple store. It's a pretty basic card when it comes down to it. It's nothing like too crazy. I have a much better card that I'm going to use. I'm probably not even going to use an Apple credit card just to kind of flex on people, but it's not even like a flexing tool because it's not even that crazy of a thing, whatever. But I'm looking at that ad and when I'm seeing what they're kind of presenting, I just kind of find it kind of weird because it is a card by an investment bank. You know, Apple, I guess, is kind of the middleman here, but they still are kind of supplying everything through Goldman Sachs and Goldman Sachs is pretty much, you know, lending the money for the credit and they're when you pay the card back, you're paying back Goldman Sachs and I'm sure Apple's getting a cut of it and everything, but I don't know, man. I saw that ad and I'm like, that's kind of deceptive in my opinion. You know, it's the same thing they kind of did when they were presenting the notch for the iPhone XS and XS Max with that wallpaper. It's like it curved right next to the notch. It didn't necessarily show the notch that well. And Samsung kind of did it too with their wallpaper to, to kind of hide that hole punch display. But this isn't the first time. I don't really hate Apple for doing this. Obviously, I don't think it's a crazy deal, but it is kind of deceptive. Just like other companies, like I said, I've done it too. But that is pretty much it. If you have any other questions, like I said, this whole video is my opinion. I'm not saying Apple is doing it or whatever. I'm just saying they could be deceptive. Maybe, I don't know, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.